Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video and there's so much cool stuff i want to announce but let's start off by saying if this video hits 1500 likes within 24 hours we're giving away 250 xrp or a hundred dollars or whatever the equivalent of xrp is in whatever crypto you want and all you have to do is make sure you press the like button are subscribed and comment something down below and guys Whew, there are so many cool giveaways coming. We have a $1,000 giveaway coming soon. Regardless of whether or not you are subscribed, it is coming up. And we have a huge, huge, huge giveaway coming up once we hit 10,000 subscribers. So once more, make sure you are subscribed. Having said that, I just saw this tweet from uh, Charles Hoskinson. And I want to kind of really hint here towards respect, right? So the video Charles Hoskinson made is about a very personal situation to him and about a very big and controversial event. Somebody said, here we go, more talk and promises, and a lot of people liked it. I have no clue why. Because the video itself, I don't want to go too uh, deep into it because I don't think YouTube likes that. It will definitely be demonetized at that point and <laughs> might have some negative consequences on the channel. The specific video is about a... Um, no, better just type it in for yourself. I don't want to name anything surrounding it, but it's, 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 it's a real video, you know, just a real talk, nothing regarding Ada nor Cardano, maybe at the end a little bit. I'm not quite sure. I don't believe so though. And then somebody again is just shouting something. So yeah, just, just disrespectful basically to him. I, I just find it really sad. And I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people say, oh, we should cancel Charles Hoskinson, cancel Cardano for a CEO having comments like this. But guys, if you really get the situation and check the video out, it's it's definitely quite sad what this guy said. And also, I think Charles is a pretty big savage for this one, and I personally like it. It just keeps him real, basically. There's not such a big distance between the big CEO and the people. You know, he's just, I mean, just this honest opinion is something you can display. You might say, oh, but that's not so professional. He's still a multi-billion dollar man, you know, at least... uh at least it's still done, it's still out there, it's worth $37 billion, so, I mean, I don't think it, <laughs> I don't think it has affected him too much that he's so immature, potentially, according to some people. I'm personally thinking they're going to reach so much, guys. I'm so excited about Cardano, I've explained it before. I'm a big holder, not as big as XRP, but still, regardless, a big holder, and I'm also liking it a ton because you can actually stake it, um, and specifically, you can stake it on Binance too, which I always like to do. Having said that, some of my other coins have been popping off, and I really like to talk to you guys about different coins that I hold. Uh, two of the no, three actually, the ones that I told you guys about recently were Curve, Uniswap, and Kusama. So this one was actually pumping all day, except for right now. Uh, you can see the big drop just in front of your eyes. It just happened. It was pumping all day, though, but this one is all over the place. So be careful if you're trading this one because it's literally all over the place. But I've had a couple of really good swings with this one, just purchasing low and selling high uh, because, well, it's, as I said before, very volatile. And Uniswap and Curve are just paying off for my long-term holds. I've explained before why these cryptos are most likely really, really good to hold for the longer term. We're talking about Curve, Uniswap, Sushi, One Inch, and Balancer. Uh, if you you know, want to kind of skip one, I would skip the sushi, I don't have too much of that, but Curve, Uniswap, Balancer, and One Inch, oh my days, do I hold a ton of it, uh, same thing for Av and Polkadot, but that's different sorts of crypto. These, however, if you're talking about the decentralized exchanges, yep, 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 it is in my portfolio, so if you were wondering, once more, go check it out, a link, no, it's not a link down below, I don't have any benefit in you buying these ones, actually, <laughs> it's not like I can sell it to you or anything, there's no promotion here or anything like that, I'm just talking to you guys about some coins which I like, these are decentralized exchanges, so, yeah, I just see a lot of potential in them over the longer term, um, you know, do your own research, whatever, go check it out, if you don't want to, I don't give a shit either. Then, Ripple touts XRP as a neutral bridge currency for CBDCs, I've talked about this article before, and a lot of you guys said, um, you know, so it's not a new video. Um, why are you talking about this again? There's nothing confirmed, yada, yada, yada. Honestly, guys, we all know that the real use case for XRP is not to be a retail currency. It's not so that we can all person to person transact with it. No, I don't think Ripple really even cares about that too much. The main focus that they got and that they keep on having is for the bigger money, for the bigger picture. I should quickly like this one so I can actually show it to you guys, this little uh, section here on my phone. Because you can see the video title or what he wrote. 
Want to know why the price of XRP never goes up? Because if the price goes up, it would create a lot of noise and they certainly do not want that much noise by Dilip Rao from, uh, uh, from oh, he's not from Ripple anymore, but yeah, I guess uh, he was from Ripple at the time. So let's quickly read, uh, listen to this one minute clip. I'm of course doing it through my phone as always, very annoying because I cannot show you guys sound on MacBook, but whatever. All right, so let's try to time this from, from the start. I should put my sound off, and there we go. What we are pursuing, what we are pursuing. Um, uh, to Dilip, uh, this question comes from the audience. Many people are using cryptos just to buy and sell and make quick gains out of it. Does it hurt the growth of cryptocurrencies, that usage for, for, for a quick buck? So in this, it's kind of chicken and egg. You have to create a marketplace. And right now, we have about 150, 200 exchanges around the world that trade in XRP. Uh, a lot of it, as you say, is very shallow trading by individuals, and that is not the use case that we are pursuing. What we are pursuing is the use of XRP as a financial asset by sophisticated institutions as a bridging uh, mechanism. So uh, does this hurt or harm? Well, it creates a lot of noise, and uh, you know, we certainly don't want that much noise, uh, but we're waiting, and for example, this last quarter, uh, the bulk of XRP sales were to institutional investors. And as this transitions away from retail to institutions, we'll start to use it for wholesale um, you know, financial usage. That's when the turning point. Okay, so it's a bit laggy, bit choppy. I'm not exactly sure why, uh, but hopefully you guys got the picture of the, <laughs> got the picture. I keep saying the wrong words. Hopefully you got the video. You got the idea. You caught it. You snapped it because I thought it was really interesting to watch. It was really interesting to see their view on things, and it's also really interesting, in my opinion, to see how different people from different perspectives think about XRP. We have all said before, Ripple is working on something so great, yet uh, they've only just started, and this is another thing that solidifies my idea, because he's basically explaining all that's happening just now is just a very small part in Ripple's bigger goal, and this really is just kind of the testing grounds is the smallest part of everything has not really happened just quite yet. There's a couple points to make. One is, do they really only do it for their own gain, Ripple? Or are they also thinking about retail investors? That's a question you can kind of ask yourself if they really care about us, holders of XRP. You can kind of say no from this uh, video right here. Then the question is, do they ever want the price to go up? Because from a certain degree, they just want it to not fluctuate too much. Do they really need the price to go up? Debatably, depending on what your end goal for XRP is. Uh, another one is, are they waiting for Jet McCaleb, who has the Taco Stand wallets, uh, to really release all his coins, be done, and then they're going to push the price up? And the last one, but not least, is, so it's meant for institutional investors. Are they then talking about the big guys, um, like, the, for example, the Grayscale type of guys, or are they talking about some institutional investors whom Ripple will sell XRP to directly? Because that might be a little bit difficult from the SEC to, to grasp or to get that full picture. I'm not sure about any of those. It's just things that we can pop up here. However, it's not meant for us, these, these cryptos. So saying we're early into something is definitely an understatement. And kind of saying that there's a lot to come from this crypto is also something which I really would agree with. For Ripple specifically, it's the first vertical, this whole cross-border payment realm they've explained. I still believe Ripple will become a trillion dollar company eventually if they keep for profit. I do think so. Um, what will happen to the XRP specifically? I'm not quite sure. What will happen to the escrow of XRP? I'm not quite sure. But that they'll keep expanding and keep growing and keep getting crazier. Oh boy, oh boy, do I believe that. And I don't think the end is anywhere in sight for Ripple nor for XRP. And then this one, these are the altcoins setting up for a super cycle in April. Just want to quickly say, guys, go check out GSX. A link is down below. It is the world's first gold-backed crypto. And there's just one more day left before the sale is over. As I said before, it's the world's first of its kind being a gold-backed crypto, new, and a growth coin, which is a certain specific type of stable coin, which I think is kind of interesting. Not officially a stable coin, but it's kind of... So, kind of, yeah, I mean, how could I explain it? It's basically a sort of stable coin, but then a growth coin. Just check it out for yourself. Link will be down below because right now it is 10 cents a coin plus a 5% bonus plus a 5% bonus for using my link. And I'm not saying you should buy it, but I am saying I am personally hoping to really times 10 
easily my money with this corner times 40. I'm hoping for that because it's the first of its kind. And we've seen before that some of these projects actually pop off and go crazy. And that is what I'm hoping for with this project. Is it going to work? Not sure. We might lose everything. Make sure you understand that properly. But I have a couple thousand dollars into this because I'm hoping we can really X, <laughs> X a lot to this one. I'm, I'm hoping so. And I'm pretty excited because as I said before, there's just one more day left before the sale is over and the bonuses are gone. Now, if we're talking about some altcoins which could pop off in the near future, I would just say decentralized exchanges are definitely the ones that you can keep close to you. Uh, there's a good chance that those ones will just keep popping up and keep going crazier. Then a couple other ones are actually to keep it small. One other one I keep telling people to, yeah, I shouldn't say I keep telling them to purchase, but I should say I, I keep talking about it in a very positive sense, are the coins that have to do with NFTs. For example, Engine. Can it go down? Yes. Can it go down further? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But NFTs are just getting popular. And this is not the best platform to buy Engine on, by the way. You can see there's not that much liquidity. However, Engine is definitely a coin which I will hold for the longer term, as I do believe that this one can reach great, great, great heights. I really firmly believe so. <laughs> Purely because of the NFT bases. And a lot of people just keep buying this one as they hear more about NFTs. There's most likely quite a lot of other NFTs that you can purchase. Sorry, guys. NFT coins or NFT-related cryptos that you can purchase. But I'm not really too much into that. Uh, I'm just saying this one can be really good. Some other coins that you might want to check out are coins based on the Binance Smart Chain or things like Cake, for example. Cake, I have a little bit of it. And I believe you can actually stake it too. Yes, you definitely can. I'm 95% I'm sure you can. And thus, I'm definitely quite excited about that one. But it's not a huge amount of cake that I own, all right? Just so you guys know, I don't really have much of this one because I'm always a little bit more skeptical when it comes to Binance Smart Chain because I think there's a lot of scams over there. We just saw one project exit scam. I also hold Theta, by the way. I didn't even know I did, but I hold quite a lot of it and it's already been booming. I kept telling people here, just buy it. Once more, it's not financial advice, but I just told people, just buy it and you'll see. And if you have no idea what to do, just buy the top and you'll be fine, except for some coins like, I, I wouldn't personally say Litecoin or a Tether, wouldn't really have that one. I would stay away from the wrapped types of coins. Why would you have those if you don't need them, right? Uh, and yeah, the rest of these coins I've definitely talked about on my channel before, all of them, except for IOTA, which I am also a holder of, just a little bit though, not too much. I hold, I think all of them. Yep, 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 let me quickly see. I hold all of these, yes, 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 yes. Except for wrapped Bitcoin, I don't really have anything of that anymore. I hold all of these coins coins yep not too much okb either even though i've recommended the coin to a couple of my friends quite often i still think that all these exchange tokens will pop off at one point or another but it's gonna wait for bitcoin to really start pumping up again so it's not really in the near future but we'll see guys that was it for today hopefully you all enjoyed it if you did make sure you press the like button and subscribe and let me know down below all right let me know down below what we should do at 100k subs how do we celebrate it because it's coming up all right, i think it's gonna take two more months maybe three but we're getting there we're getting close and uh, I'm thinking of some really cool and huge giveaways, but I'm not sure yet, guys. Let me know what you think down below. See you guys again in another crypto video.